Hi, Sean here at Noe. Today I'd like to show you the latest visualization that we added to our coronavirus data hub. So behind me here, you'll see a map of the continental US uh, with lines breaking it down by county in specific states. So in the bottom right here, if you take a look at the bottom corner of your screen, you'll also see the date progressing uh, approximately one day per second. And so right now it says 25th of March. And uh, what happens is as the time progresses, uh, over here, the map itself will be populated with a heat map showing the cases in that area at that time. So with this visualization, you can actually watch uh, sort of in real time how COVID-19 cases progressed across the U.S. Now, one important thing to know about the way that we're visualizing the data for this uh, visualization is we are doing a seven-day moving average. So that means any county where you're looking at the number of cases on this map it's actually the average of the number of cases from the previous seven days. The idea there is to smooth out the data a little bit so that you can watch hotspots form. And then as states get COVID-19 under control, you can watch those same hotspots disappear. Uh, just looking at it now, you can see hotspots forming early on in New York City, uh, in Illinois, uh, and also uh, in Los Angeles County here. Now, if I zoom in on Illinois, we can also see that uh, hotspots are forming, not just in the state as a whole, but right here in Cook County where Chicago is located. One other thing to try on this map is if you go up here to the states filter, you can actually select which states you want to include in the visualization so that if you don't over time, you just want to compare say California and Arizona, you can do that here by selecting those two and then running the visualization again. Uh, we hope that it's helpful. Please leave us feedback. We're always happy to hear what you think. Bye.